Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for June 26th, 27th, and 28th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Tauruses. Hello, my Tauruses. How are you? I hope I hope things are going fine for you. I hope they're going beyond fine. Anyway, you know, weekend readings, I use my two Radley Valentine decks. I use my Angel Tarot cards for the main message, and then I try to just pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Three cards are face down, the middle one's reversed, strong energy, that's how I read reversed cards. I'm an intuitive channeler. What that means is that I open myself up to my higher power and whatever the message comes through, it comes out for whoever needed to hear it. So, my Tauruses, let's see what we have for the weekend for you. First card up, the Ace of Fire, Ace of Fire. Oh, I love this card for you because this is about getting things moving, starting that fire. You know, fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, passionate, burning, determined. We know that. This is you starting over. This is you starting. You know, I shouldn't say starting over because starting over means that you're starting back at square one. You're not. You're not. This is things starting up again for you. This is, you know, maybe the car the car was a little st was stalled. Um, you know, maybe you had to pull over to the side of the road and now it's like, the, you know, the battery's engaged, you get it started and you get back going again, okay? This is fire energy, again, very, very moving forward, not even able to really contain it. Aces are these new beginnings, new starts. This is this. So go, so my Taurus is that there's something you've been wanting, really good energy for you to go after it. An exciting new opportunity, career advancement. Change your life now. Okay? It's a lot of this is a lot of this is letting go and moving on. And you know, again, new moon, new moon to full moon, request, request, request. This card reversed. Here we go. The five of air. Okay. Air energy is our, you know, is our thought processes. It's our um, you know, it's it's hearing news. It's that download. It's that th that thing that we just know what we know what we know. Air energy is Libra. It's Aquarius. It's Gemini energy. So you know, it, it's overthinking. It's overanalyzing. Fives are about some changes too. So there has to be some changes, some changes going on. So the thing is, there's this there's this new energy that you have, and at the same time, there's this do I you know there's this kind of hesitancy there's this thought process of you know if there's kind of this 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 anxiousness this anxiety and so you know and the thing is though if the, you know with this energy this is not necessarily comfortable to you my Tauruses so I can see you over analyzing this a lot now remember the thing though you need to remember is you have a very strong psychic um, ability the thing about you know so the thing about, you know, your overanalyzing is sometimes you have to, you know, calm yourself down, center yourself, ground yourself. Remember, we haven't talked about grounding enough lately. You know, get out there. Um, if you can, again, it might be cold in the southern hemisphere, but, you know, put your feet, you know, put your feet in the, in you know, just walk around barefoot. How's that? Walk around barefoot. Um, do some grounding exercises, meditate, things like that, okay, to connect. Because otherwise, you let your brain take over, and it wants to take, it takes you down what's rational and not necessarily what's possible. How's that? Okay. So, an unwise choice, learn what you can from the situation, review everyone's motives. Your last card, here we go, is the five of fire. So, we have the fire energy, the ace, new beginnings, new starts, um, you know, exciting new opportunity, career advancement. Um, we have our thought processes here going on back and forth. And then what we have here is, you know, again, you know, it, you, you're going from maybe not so busy to extremely busy to having, you know, having major changes going on. So maybe the major changes are what you really, you know, even though this is an exciting opportunity, even though this is moving you towards that, those, th those things that you want, 
you know, between your brain and your, your brain and just all the energy, it's just, it just feels too much. It just feels too much. It really, you know, you will get through this. It really isn't too much. Sometimes you just got to hunker down and just get it done. Okay. Competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. Part of that with the conflict from others is because, I, again, I go back that you're thinking too much. But the other thing, too, is you, you might have a lot of, you might have some naysayers in your life telling you that you're not able to do some of your dreams, telling you maybe you need to have new dreams. I don't know. You're going to have to look at those. You're going to have to make some of those choices. You know, you, those are your choices to make. Okay, let's go on here. We're going to cut one last card. So, so there's this, you know, there's this energy, there's kind of like this teeter-totter of energy. The, the, the two fives are, is this conflict, it's kind of overwhelming, it's kind of like, do I really do this? I don't know what to do. And, you know, besides this, it's, you know, it's like, you know, maybe, maybe you have to do it, maybe you have to make some decisions quickly. And then you have this ace of fire, this new, op this new opportunity, this passion, this let's get going type of energy. And you just don't know. You just don't know. Okay, actually, we have one card face down. It is reversed. Here we go. This is the Knight of Ariel, your energy. This is also Virgo, and it's Capricorn energy. And what did I say? You just got to get it done. You just got to, you know, this is you you're just doing it, doing it. So your energy, something, someone you can touch. It could be money, could be opportunities, it could be jobs, okay? Knights are directional. So trustworthy, understanding, devoted, funny. There is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan, being watched over by someone kind, you know, connect, connect, connect. And, you know, because, you know, that means with your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, you're divine. Um, part of this is is kind of, you know, that ace of fire. Are you going to go for it? Are you going to go for it? Or are you going to... The thing about the internal struggles with the five of air and fire, the internal struggles, and it just seems overwhelming. The thing is, though, you know, my Taurus is in a week or two when things settle down. Are, you know, are you going to look back and be a little sad that you didn't go for it? But these are choices. These are choices. And... The Knight of Ariel is very much, you know, a lot to accomplish. Get it done. So, and interesting energy there. Interesting energy. But the thing, too, is if you know that there's going to be a conflict, um, once once that actually starts happening, um, you know, once you, you can kind of go, wait a minute, this is, what, this is what Debbie was talking about. Okay, now I'm going to ground, I'm going to, you know, do some grounding. I'm going to just settle myself, meditate, pray, however that is. I'm just going to calm myself down and let the answers come. Okay? Okay, my Tauruses. Let me know. Please, please. And I hope you've liked, you've shared, you've subscribed, all of that good stuff. As always, my Tauruses, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.